Hi everyone, it's Desiree here from Des Crates. I wanted to do just like a quick short unboxing video. Um, excuse the inky fingers. I've already kind of opened up this package but haven't really gone through it. Um, it's from Sticky Club, which is kind of new to me. And also from my local pen shop here. Um, I believe they're called the Pen Counter Online, but it's, it's um, actually called uh, from UN Luggage here in my local local city, um, Winnipeg, Manitoba here in Canada. Um, I'm sure you guys all seen Bennu pens. I bought a talisman. Um, this is empty, actually. It comes with a pillow box that the pen comes in. I actually have the pen out already. And um, the one I purchased was called... Elder Wiss, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, it's a pretty cool pen. I actually have it here. But um, look at all of this sparkly gorgeousness here. The twist cap. Um, I think it's like a number six Schmidt point. I believe this is the medium. Um, I love these Bennu pens. They they stand out. Um, things that sparkle and glitter. I kind of strange because I love the color white. Um, just to show you my other, my first Bennu ever. This one I actually had to hunt for when I... When I found out about it. Because man. If you go into the. Uh, down the rabbit hole of fountain pens. Like look at that. Um, this is. The Bennu Vodka Under Rocks. Isn't that crazy? As you can see. There are two different sizes. Um, I believe I got this one. In the broad nib. Also. But I, but I love these pens. Um, anyhow, like the cool thing about the talismans is that there's always some sort of um, story that goes with them, even if it's mythology, lore, and what's not. Um, there are companies out there that have specific pens made that you can only get from them, like limited editions, which are pretty cool. I actually missed out on one called the Unicorn, and I, fingers crossed, hope I get it this time. Um, they sold out within like the first five minutes, not even, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, symbolism and magical attributes, um, true love and bravery is what this flower represents. So, kind of has, I love little things that have like a back story. Um, you get lifetime warranty paper and check out how crazy these big huge converters are. I haven't used these yet. And here's like an average size standard converter. You know, and like there's where the ink kind of starts and stops. So <laughs> you got like double that crazy. But yeah, I thought I'd share this with you. It looks like a frosted white. I guess some people have like a bluer, but there is like so much shimmer. They actually, um crushed the dried flowers and put it into the resin when they made this so pretty nifty that's why they call them the talisman anyhow um and they write beautifully but i'm not gonna quite write with that yet so onto the sticky club box like i said i just um easily open that i'm hoping can I zoom out more? Nope, this is it. Alright, here we go. I ordered this last month and it just arrived. Take everything out. Yeah, that's going to take forever. It's always fun when you can't get things out of the box. Oh, 
there we go. Sorry about the glare. I don't know how to diffuse things. But oh, we have a thank you for your purchase. Oh, so they sent this to me. Do I have a white sheet somewhere? Possibly not. <laughs> Hilarious. But oh my god, look at how cute these little stickers are. Um, so this was my free gift. Actually, it was um, purchasing these little duckles because um, I thought they were kind of cool looking. Uh, not quite the... Uh, it's not quite the material I was hoping. I think that these were like just like printed and then cut out. I think they're slightly transparent. In a sense, I haven't really opened them up. Yeah, so this is an interesting type of sticker, I gotta say. But cute. Enough for me to look at that. Aren't they adorable? Cute enough for me to just, you know, stick on the back of my my journal or front cover or what's not to decorate my phone. And I was kind of interested in these two. Um, and this is the other packages that I just like randomly purchased some. So, I think this one's called Baron Von Kitty. Like look at that. This has a cool, like, fabric vibe to it. I'm not too familiar with all the, um, I like little Draculas. So, but I love little story fairy tale things like that. Oh, something stuck to the back. Oh, look at this. I can't remember what this one is called, but it is definitely has a cute little breakfast character. Um, here's the artist. Little yeah, and they're all from Sticky Club. Oh, sorry, this one was a Phoenix Chan illustration. They're all on also Instagram if you want to check them out. Um, this was just like for like a monthly thing. I was hoping to use this for the month of March, which is my birthday soon. So nice gold foil, classic stamping. Um. Another little fun little artist cats. I know what's up with the cats. I also have the dog. But this is, you know, I guess it has to do with the curves and the lines. My cats also have a personality of a dog. They're barn cats, but crazy stuff. And here's some little mochis, which sometimes, you know, I'm just writing in my journal. And it's just like basic writing. There's no pictures in it. And I usually just write in my art journal. So these are just fun to add the emotions to whatever I'm doing to give my my stories a little bit more character and this here Hanami under the cherry trees is a box that I purchased from sticky club um, it's so I'll just take it out of the plastic so nice oh very fancy box um, it says today the warm spring day when cherry blossoms bloom and picnic blankets are spread when bentos brimming with treats are shared and the world is covered in petals this Hanami flower viewing party is exclusive for you with love from sticky so this is a pretty fancy box under the cherry trees um, I think they were having a sale, which is why I purchased it, but honestly, oops, I was really looking for this one particular item that sold out quite quickly when I found out about them. Oh, look at that. Beautiful storage box. I don't know if my light can uh, diffuse to another level, but first things. So things can focus better. We have a Sakura dessert pin from Imagine Station. Well, that's cute. I'm gonna put this on my little um my my pencil case. Kind of it looks like a Delphonics, but it's not quite a Delphonics. Uh, 
Um, this is a special edition. What is it? It's a little photo album with like a Sakura clip. That goes in. Nifty. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you can put like photos or tiny little ephemera in here. Well, that's a cute little thing to hang off your bag. I was thinking it was like uh, maybe some washi tapes. I don't know. I always could do something fun with that. We have paper clips. Always need paper clips. Oh, and these two are you know, like a little metal enamel charm with the pink and white sakura flower. These are huge. They're super cute, so they can just hang off the side of your journal. item. What is this? A memo holder under the cherry trees. Okay. Oh, we have some little sticky dots here. Keep it shut. Some one. I'll leave the other one on. Let me slide this out. Oh yeah, it does look like a little... I'll we'll need to do all of them. Flower petal. Let's use one of these. And we'll turn it backwards just for effect. Oh yeah, nice little table marker you can have. There's me and my hubby's photos from our anniversary. Oh, that's a nice little, cute little thing. Holds up well. We have a Sakura pen. a sticky oh yeah you just twist it and hear a click cool I'll probably be gifting that to somebody I don't really use um ballpoint pens but it is kind of like a fun little little shaker some washies who doesn't like washi tape Five in here. We have some Sakura flowers with a nice background gator gradient. Gatorade, oh well. <laughs> My brain is wandering. Um, with some gold. I don't know if you can see the tiny little white in there. Well, this has a little bit of an interesting texture to it. I've never seen this before. Oh, it's pretty heavy duty here. Wow. Does this come apart more? That's a pretty thick, strong sounding tape. I love um, Japanese tapes because they actually never peel off my notebooks. This one is a transparent one. If I can get it open. Yeah, I was um, playing around with the Dominant Industry ink and it's, I shouldn't have dropped my pencil bag and it had my um, Conklin Endure in there and well, I had to clean it out and it pretty much, it's not, um, yeah, I dropped this in my pen bag and obviously the ink came out of the, the nib area into the cap so I was just trying to clean that out, but pretty cool. Gorgeous pen. I was very fortunate to have one of these. But anyhow. Oh, look at all that food. Oh, and the little... You see the little um, penguins? Wow. The little rolls. Everything else. Super cool. Stick that back on there. 
on another soccer one, basic washi tape. Nice and purple and pink. A smaller pattern border. And another transparency with sakura flowers. So I forgot to uh, That's a pretty cute one for border as well. Now, this was something that I was like really looking forward to. I hope I can get the larger one. I wonder if um, it can be used as a pen case too. But this is a special edition washi tape traveler case. That is made by Absent Studio or Studio Absent, sorry. So it's a Mac, it's called a Mackie Washi Tape Traveler. I'll probably just slide it out of here sideways. Oops. There it says Absent Studio on it. It is like this, I guess, this uh, full leather feeling, I'm not too sure. And there is a clear transparent plastic door on it. Isn't that adorable? So what it is used for is that you take all your washies And then you have your little traveler with you. Keeps it nice and organized. Cute and elegant. And there you go for traveling. So they have a larger one. But yeah, I'm really hoping that maybe it can be used for, like a, for a pen case or something. But I'm not too sure. They've sold out of quite a few things that I really, really wanted. But I was very happy that I was able to get the small little version of that. It can live on my, my desk. I'm actually just going to go right into the bow bag. Um, well, we have some stickers, which is also has those little characters from the washi tape. With the little rolls, ice cream. I don't know what you call those mochis, I'm not too sure. But this is cool, Sakura dessert. Um... Here's one that was like a notebook and list with pencils. Oh, this is like all like a washi, washi tape kind of stickers. That's pretty neat. This is all, I guess, under the cherry trees. Yeah, soccer and matcha. Oh, how cute. Check those guys out. Okashi, I'm not gonna butcher that. I'm not even gonna say who the artist is. I'm so sorry. Is it Okashi now? Okashi? I'm not too sure. But aren't they adorable? And then there is this thing. What is this thing? Oh, I know what it is. It's an envelope to hold your stickers in. So it's a plastic envelope. Just a little pocket to keep your, your stickers. Well, I guess you take them out actually. But let's do that to keep your stickers in while you travel. So that's nice and and nifty. Now I can stick all my stickers in there, at least the thin sheets. And these wider ones are. A different story clearly doesn't fit but that's pretty cool and one more item but yeah I do like the little button closure easy to close under the cherry trees very nice and calming I guess a bubble gum pink color and the last but not least we have the notebook also by the same Okashi now, Okashi, um, 
notebook. Oh, how cute. A dango. Oh, that's what they're called. Matcha ice cream. I can't remember if this is a blank notebook or not. I don't know what I did with my blade. Let's hopefully I don't cut myself trying to open this thing. looking for um oh lay flat beautiful sturdy pages i'm not too sure about uh, what the gsm is on these but i'm hoping they take ink well but it's a great excellent sketching notebook about the a5 size check it, I think it's, oops a little smaller than the a5 this is my midori and here this is so yeah it's a little bit smaller than a5 but that's pretty cool and there you go I guess uh, I don't know if I should make a video using some of the stickers or just going through my current or last year's journal I have a couple catching up stuff to do but I'll I guess I'll see you in the next video bye